How do I bolt? Nice. Fast tracks don't teach you fundamentals. Without fundamentals, you are ineffective for them in the market. The reason why this is important is because one thing you start realizing when you're working any sort of technical job or I'm assuming like any intellectual pursuit, any job that requires a heavy amount of thinking, heavy amount of uh, training around concepts, around systems thinking, whenever you're doing any type of job like this, you start realizing that the business you're working for or the business you're starting, if you're an entrepreneur, is not useful unless you understand how to be how to the un, the fundamentals of the fundamentals of the fundamentals of the work you're doing and the reason why is because and i'll actually make a good example of this i'll, I'll get back to our hero's journey in a sec so this is uh, let me it's a really good way to to describe this so if you know react you can get a job if you only know React, you can get a job. If you know vanilla JavaScript and React, you can create a job. Get rid of this. And what I mean by that and creating jobs is important. Super important. Let's see, is there a better way to say that? So, so, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to say that. So you can, yeah. So that's probably the best way to say that. So, if you don't know coding in vanilla JavaScript, understand how to make. Everything you can do in React in just vanilla JavaScript, that's a, a example of understanding the fundamentals. React is a framework built on top of JavaScript. We're talking tech lingo right now. So when you understand something like React and you don't understand vanilla JavaScript, you're not gonna be creating job. You can get a job But create, so actually, I'll just say it. One creates more work. Two creates more efficiency, which creates more responsibility. Abilities. Apparently, I can't spell. So, okay. Response. Uh, let's just keep that on spell. So, can anyone even see that? All right. So, one, the one above, and two is the one one below. So if you, only, if you only know how to work at the higher level of something, you will always be creating more work than necessary because your way of problem solving will always be narrow. And if there's anything that any software engineer, coder, and anyone who works in tech at the engineering layer, even if you're a hardware guy, whatever, you always know the less you understand at the lower level, the less uh, capability you have, at the less of a scope you have uh, in terms of problem solving, the types of problems you can solve. The more you narrow the types of problems you can solve, the more work you're creating. You're literally making every system, every company, everything you work at more inefficient because of your lack of understanding. 
So if you know more lower level things, if you know more fundamentals, well, lower level doesn't need to be the same as fundamental. So I'll just say fundamental. If you know more fundamentals, you will be more efficient and you will be able to create more responsibilities, which is important. If anything, if there's anything you wanna, you wanna actually know from this video is, it's fucking terminal. Is there anything you wanna know from this video? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> this is like, is your value on a team of engineers is largely based on the amount of responsibility you uh, take on are able to take on, able to take on, and the responsibility you dic you are able to generate. And I understand a lot of people are wincing at the second hand part of it. If you're experienced, you're wincing at that. And I get it. But the second part's actually super important. And I know a lot of engineers that are probably very good and understand that they actually do the second part. Because with the second part can often seem like it's not good. So I'll, I'll talk about that second. So, and this gets into our hero's journey because our hero doesn't understand that when he's going into this coding boot camp, he's becoming someone that can't do any of these by default. I'm not saying that he can't be in a coding boot camp and have that knowledge when he leaves, but typically the knowledge, and this is from mentoring a ton of people, this is from seeing that system a lot of, and, and working as an engineer. The people, I, and I know a lot of people that went through coding boot camps, they're actually awesome and probably some of the best people I know. Um, in, in terms of like engineers, they're very competent almost all the those people were working against the boot camp they were in they were people that gained most of this knowledge that they had that makes them this type of engineer that that's valuable either on the job or they just had that value innately which we'll talk about a little bit later so i just want to say that as an aside i'm not saying if you went to a boot camp you're not a good engineer I'm not trying to say that, but I'm saying that the system, the speed at which they get you to the market is is not setting you up for prosperity, typically. So the amount of responsibility you're able to take on, that's a given. That seems really obvious where it's like, yeah, okay, if, if I can take on more responsibility, then people are going to, like, I'm going to be able to people are going to like me more on the team. Like I'm going to be able to do more for this business, be more productive for the ends, meet the ends of this business, right? The second part is you you have to have an ability to generate responsibility and what I don't I don't mean make busy work. That's that's the that's the inversion of this. So responsibility what that means is if you make, if you produce something so valuable for this business that they have to have someone whose role it is to either manage that, to understand that, and that can be you, that could be someone else. If they require someone to train, to fill in some gap when you leave, then that means they're going to have, they're going to have to have two of you when you leave understand because it takes so long because they have to work in parallel that does have someone onboarded to do your job and someone that's shittily doing your job at the same time right so I don't mean make busy work when I mean the, the second part 
What I mean is you're creating more roles. And that's a, to a fault. That doesn't mean you need both of these, by the way. <laughs> Don't just be someone who comes in and doesn't take on a responsibility and just, you know, dictates a bunch of shit. You need a balance. But also don't just take on a ton of responsibility and become essentially a doormat for people without having to uh, have that dictation, have that ability to document your code. This part is all about code documentation. It's all that's probably that's really the source of a lot of the second part right here. Okay, so let's go back to our hero's journey. So now we talked about.